Order! Order! YMJ Eddie, it's John Burko here, former Speaker of the House of Commons. You are clearly a devoted football fan, a fan of the Chinese men's national football team. Now, your team missed out on 22 FIFA World Cup, and that no doubt upsets, dispirits, and unnerves you. Because of course you want your team to thrive. And if you're a really dedicated football fan, it will be writ large in your life, and I understand that. I also understand that players, if they are to thrive, individually and as part of a corporate group, a team, must never lose their passion, they must never lose their will to win, and they must never lose their belief in ultimate victory. Because, in a sense, as in war, so in sport, once a player's will is broken, that person is doomed, or that person's team is likely to be doomed. Just as in war, once one side has lost belief in itself, frankly, it is only a matter of time before defeat follows. So, the challenge is to find a right path and to focus on 2026 World Cup qualification. What do I have to say to you more widely, YMJ, on the matter of the approach to securing victory, personal as well as for your team? I think what I would say is in any endeavour, in any endeavour, there are really two crucial ingredients. There's the ingredient of inspiration, for which we talent, skill set, ability, the necessary equipment to be able to succeed. But there is a second component, there's a second ingredient, and that second ingredient is often underestimated. And that second ingredient on top of inspiration is perspiration, hard work, dedication, application, indefatigability, never say die, refuse to lose, insist on prevailing in the end. Queen Victoria, it was, who said, the possibility of defeat does not arise. I repeat, the possibility of defeat does not arise. Now, there can be losses along the way, but her big idea was that, in the end, the idea of losing is simply not on the agenda, not to be considered, not in one's mind. One just has to work on the basis of an absolute and unflinching, unwavering, utterly resolute commitment to win. And then, secondly, it's captured brilliantly by the late Sir Winston Churchill, who, of course, had a magnificently successful career, but with lots of ups and downs. And in the course of his, he had a family motto to which he clung through thick and thin, and which was of enormous succor and encouragement to him in adversity. And that family motto was KBO, keep buggering on at all times. Never concede, don't give in, don't give up, don't lose hope. Stay focused on the ultimate goal. That is what should inspire and drive you and those whom you support in the days, weeks, months and years ahead. Senza grinta, senza rabbia, senza cuore, senza personalità, con paura di giocare, senza fare tre passaggi di fila, senza costruire un'azione, senza che giocatori importanti diano quel contributo, vuol dire che l'allenatore non sta facendo bene il suo lavoro. Io guadagno tanti, 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 tanti soldi e non li voglio rubare, perciò io stasera do le dimissioni irrevocabili.